So what are we doing today? We're installing a radon removal system here in Blacksburg because Nancy Massey, Nest Realty, sold a house. And uh, I'll show you exactly how we treat it because it's kind of neat. It's a little different than uh, the ones that you've seen. And uh, it's an external subslab depressurization system. My buddy in, in New Jersey calls these frost walls. I have no idea why. I have to ask him, but here's what it is. We are treating this home entirely from the exterior. There are no components of the radon system going inside of the house like we're so used to seeing. And as a matter of fact, I shot a video on this in the past and it's, it's rather long. I'm about 20 pounds heavier. And maybe that's how I lost all that weight, digging those holes. But we dug a small hole today and let me show you how we went about doing it. So we dug out a little bit and we were able to get under the slab of this home horizontally. And so that's less turns in the system. And it's awfully appealing because, hey, there's nothing inside of here. This is a bedroom, so that wouldn't do. Okay, so how are we powering the fan? Well, directly on the opposite side of this wall in the bedroom is an outlet. So the trick we do is just simply tap into that outlet and we wire it to it and then put the outlet back. Otherwise, you would never know we were even there. When you drill a hole, we take special care to make sure we don't lose suction inside the cinder blocks because cinder blocks have these cavities. There's a picture right there of uh, Jamie taking care of that. And now we're back. So here's the system. And we used oversized downspout that we painted brown to match the tones of the house. And we are on the seldomly seen side of the home. So I think we came out awfully sweet right there. Also, you'll notice a manometer. So systems need a manometer. And since there's nothing inside of the house, this is how we went about attaching it. And this is my little trick that I use to keep water out of the manometer. And we went ahead and wrote down the, uh, the number there, the vacuum, because those little stickers that come with the manometer kits, they don't stick so well after a little while outside. All right, so I'll take you inside and show you a couple little bonus features here. In my videos, I often talk about being nosy. And what I mean by that is you cannot know too much about the house. If you have the sellers or realtors around, uh, ask them all kinds of questions and have them take you places you don't even think you need to go, like this place right here. So under here, we found a big hole and also a spot where it's a classic spot where basement tub baths builders carve out these big holes right here and those are spots where we can lose suction in the system and of course radon can escape up through there so we like to seal those with expanding foam and then what's behind door number two well we went and checked that out and found a little more of the same so we shot some expanding foam around there so once upon a time right here, this is where the main sewer line for the house was replaced. And it was filled with gravel and not covered over with concrete. And that's, you know, that's usual when those things happen. But this is also another spot where we can lose suction or have radon escape. So we just want to take care and seal that up. Uh, first, we swept it and then we uh, scrubbed it so we'd have something for the uh, silicone to adhere to. We don't use caulk, uh, we want something kind of beefy. And silicone does the trick and it doesn't shrink. And then of course we've left the clean out there should it ever need to be used again. Which we hope is not the case, but it's there if it is needed. Okay. Hey, so that's all I've got and I appreciate you watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you don't mind smashing that like button and hitting subscribe, I put out lots of content for the community and hope the videos help. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks a bunch for watching. Have a good one.